Over the years, some games have been removed from stores. Think about the media hype surrounding Mortal Kombat in the 90s or GTA more recently. The game market is shifting to digital stores and Steam is the biggest one out there. But even a digital store can remove games. Let's take a look at 10 games that have been removed from Steam forever. In May 2018, there was quite a debate involving an FPS called Active Shooter. This game was all about school shootings, and it was supposed to release in the beginning of June. Mainstream media focused on the game after shooting incidents in the United States. Valve removed it because of its contents, and perhaps also because it simply wasn't a very good game. Active Shooter was clearly made to spark controversy and not to create quality entertainment. So removing it is a win-win situation for all of us. Race hard, shoot to kill. Even though game companies often forget about and neglect old licenses, it doesn't mean you can just copy them. In its early days, Blizzard Entertainment made a racing game called Rock and Roll Racing. The company is now way too busy with StarCraft, Overwatch, Diablo and Warcraft. But that doesn't mean you can just copy their stuff. The game Motor Rock was a very obvious copy of Blizzard's racing game. The creators of Motor Rock responded like they had no idea what was going on. Disappointed by Blizzard's move, the developers made the game available for free on their website. Tyler gets a kill. Wins the race. Big edge on that one. Risky single. Cricket is huge in India and Pakistan, and also has quite a following in England and Australia. Yet hardly anybody talks about Ashes cricket a sports series that's been around for some years now. One of its earliest games was Ashes Cricket 2013. This game was hyped by publisher 505 Games for months, but it turned out to be an unplayable pile of junk. Risky Singh was really going for six with that one. The artificial intelligence was a mess, gameplay was full of bugs, and graphics glitched all over the place. Four days after release, Ashes Cricket 2013 was removed from Steam and the console version was cancelled. 505 Games apologised for the whole disaster and the Ashes Cricket series did redeem itself over time. Confident appeal. In a world that's turning its eyes more and more towards blockchain technology, there has to be a story about cryptocurrencies and video games. A video game called Abstractism really deserved to be removed from Steam. The game sneakily turned your computer into a mining machine for cryptocurrencies. The hidden software would use processing power from the user's computer to mine Monero. To make things worse, items that could be unlocked in Abstractism looked exactly like those from Team Fortress 2. Both Abstractism and its creator have been banned from Steam. Necro was successfully funded on Kickstart and was greenlit on Steam Early Access. Gamers could already buy the game on Steam, even though it was far from finished. Approximately two years after the game became available, it was removed from Steam. As it turns out, the developers working on the action pack game were not very friendly with each other. One of them grabbed the money from the early access sale and blocked the other from accessing the bank accounts. As the two developers didn't want to work together anymore, the project was ultimately removed from Steam. The story goes that the game was almost finished, 
but we'll never know for sure. Guardians of Ember is just one of the games from game studio Insult Games that was removed from Steam. Because while Buster, Heroes of Titan also got deleted. The reasons for this are quite simple. Insult Games really needed some success and requested its employees to write positive reviews about their own game. This all happened in early 2018. When Valve found out, it banned the company from using Steam ever again. Both Guardians of Ember and Wild Buster were removed. The games have found new lives with other companies, so they're not lost forever. Digital Homicide became an infamous gaming company after Jim Sterling reviewed their shooter, The Slaughtering Grounds. He completely destroyed the game and got sued for it. The developer made things even worse when they sued a hundred Steam users that supposedly harassed the studio. The company had multiple games on Steam, all of questionable quality. They produced cheap games and tried to sell them for a couple of dollars. The whole thing blew up and Valve wanted none of it. All games from Digital Homicide were removed from Steam and the developer was banned forever. Victory. If you knew what I had in store for you, <laughs> Bone Town is an adult-oriented adventure game that was greenlit for early access on Steam in 2014. This version of the game didn't include the explicit content, but the game studio failed to comply with all of Valve's policies. Like tonight, I get to try the new Christian drinking rage. Ultimately, Valve refused Bone Town due to its controversial content and drug references. A few years later, Bone Town, The Power of Death, launched on Steam, but this game had nothing to do with the original and was later also removed. This time it wasn't for its content, but simply because of its very poor quality. Jake, what the hell happened? In September 2014, Valve removed Ride to Hell Retribution from Steam. The infamous biker action game had been the center of attention for a vocal group of gamers that truly hated it. Ride to Hell was just a buggy mess. What the hell are you looking for? It's among games with the worst scores ever, and it's considered to be one of the worst games ever made. Ultimately, Valve decided that Ride to Hell Retribution just was too bad to be available for sale. Some people need to be protected from bad things. No! 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 LGBT vs. Russia Battlegrounds is one of the many games that's made using a development trick called asset flipping. Just buy some cheap assets from the Unity store, copy and paste them into a poor game concept, and publish the result on Steam. LGBT vs. Russia Battlegrounds is a very poor battle royale game that looks terrible and has nothing to do with Russia or the LGBT community. We are not sure if the developers made this as a joke or just to earn a quick buck. No matter what their intentions were, we're just happy Valve removed it. That was just a couple of examples from the long list of Steam removals. Do you agree with Valve or the developers? Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram 
and make sure to let us know.